You can see here a topographical model representing Gale Crater on Mars, with the huge Mount Sharp taking up much of the center of the crater. Notice the predicted landing ellipse, the dark ellipse in the center of the picture. Here's another view of Gale Crater and the landing ellipse. We're interested in the dark smaller ellipse here. The goal was to hit a bullseye by landing on the X in the ellipse's center. Also notice the dark terrain at the base of the mountain, believed to be sand dunes. The dark area provides an excellent reference point for some of the following images. Here's an excellent shot of the Mars Science Lab parachuting down during descent, taken by the orbiting Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. You can see the heat shield is still on in this picture. Now here's a view of the heat shield dropping off of the parachuting rover while still high up in the atmosphere. And you can see the dark area of the sand dunes just to the left of the heat shield. Here's an actual shot taken high above Gale Crater that has the landing ellipse superimposed on it. The green diamond is where JPL scientists believe Curiosity actually landed. It's about two kilometers northeast of the Bullseye Ellipse Center. Mount Sharp is to the south, just beyond the dark sand dunes. And here is an actual shot taken from Curiosity of Mount Sharp. You can see the dark dune area at the base of the mountain between Curiosity and the summit. This is an actual image that's taken in the opposite direction. You can see off on the horizon the big crater wall of Gale Crater. This is looking away from Mount Sharp and towards the crater rim. Notice the shape of Mount Sharp in the background of this computer animation. Here's the actual photo from Curiosity. While not exact, the two are pretty close. The rover is obviously very close to its intended landing site. That's all for now. If you enjoyed this, consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching.